What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be uh, rescaping this tank here for Mo the Goldfish. Here he is. Uh, so I've brought Mo, Mo the Goldfish in from the pond outside because uh, he's got a bit of a cloudy eye. So I've been treating him. I've tried quite a few things now and nothing really seems to be working. It doesn't seem to be getting any worse, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep him inside for the winter now. Just going to try and keep the water as perfect like as I can, real nice and clean, big water changes every week, and uh, hopefully he might get better. He definitely doesn't seem to be getting any worse anyway, so that's good. And to do this rescape, we're going to be using the Aquarium Co-op Planter. Easy planter. Uh, this is pretty cray because you can't get Aquarium Co-op uh, products in the UK. And uh, I actually got this on eBay, um, and it came from Australia, weirdly. Um, so it actually cost me a small fortune. I thought I was actually buying three uh, Easy Planters. There was three in the picture. Uh, they only sent me one. Uh, so I went back on the eBay site, and uh, turned out I was, in fact, just buying one. It was just a picture of three. So I got one Aquarium Co-op Easy Planter, and I paid about 100 quid for it, which isn't ideal but hey ho I've got an aquarium co-op easy planter in the UK and uh, we're going to be doing a scape with it today so uh, let's do it right so onto the scape I've also bought as well as the easy planter I've also bought um, a big bag of sand to mix in with the gravel so I'm going to add that in because at the moment we haven't got I don't know so like an inch and a half of like gravel in there so it hasn't really got enough uh, room for some proper like root growth and I'm hoping the valley is going to like spread, the valley is going to be involved in the new aquascape and I've also bought some really big rocks which I'm a little bit worried might be a bit too big, I got them from the garden centre earlier today uh, but I've got them downstairs, um, I've been sort of like, I've marked out a little area on the uh, table downstairs and I've been sort of playing around with aquascapes so let's go and have a look at that. Right so here we are downstairs Twins are here. Hey guys. Uh, but yeah, so I've just marked out this little area on the coffee table in the lounge here. So these are the rocks I've bought. I put the, uh, that's the, the easy planter just there at the back. So I think that was pretty cool. Um, obviously that's the footprint of the tank. There's the sand I've got to add into the gravel. And uh, I think that looks pretty cool. You know, there'll obviously be the valve coming up in the middle there and then hopefully it will send out some runners around the place. Um, got to keep it simple with goldfish haven't you um but yeah so i've got to wash these rocks though because um i think they're pretty dirty so i'm gonna go outside give them a good hose down then we'll uh, get on with escape think i need to get mo out of the tank because i think it's going to be quite a big thing we'll get him into a bucket whilst i'm doing it and uh let's crack on right guys so i've cleaned the stone out i've rinsed the uh i've rinsed the, the uh, sand so next job is to get Mo into a little holding bucket and drop the water level right down. I'm not going to get rid of the water level, the water like completely. So I want to keep the filter running just because I think that would be better. I don't want the bacteria dying, all that sort of shizzle. So I'll get that drained out and Mo in the in his little holding bucket and uh, I'll check in with you in a second. Right, so Mo's out. Uh, filter's still going there, so that's making a bit of a noise. But yeah, I've put him in this bucket here, so he's got a fair bit of room in there. Sponge filter's going in there as well, so I've got to put it somewhere, so I might as well put it in there. So he's got a little filter, and I've put the valve plant in there, which is going to be going back in his tank. So yeah, be alright in there for an hour or so whilst I sort the tank out. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, he's a good kid. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to drain the, drain the tank down now. I don't know what I'm going to do with these plants. I'll put one, I think, in this little quarantine tank down there. And I'll probably have to throw the other two away. Can't really think of anything else to do with them. Uh, yeah, I'll put one in there. Right, anyway, I'll get this tank drained down. I'll see you in a second. Right, so I've emptied the tank to the point where I can get it as low as I can get it, but still keep the filter going. So I'm now going to add the... It's actually quite coarse sand to this gravel to build up the... Uh, substrate a little bit so hopefully the valve will be able to like take root better. Right 
Right, so the sand's in, looking good. Mixed it all up, uh, quite like that look. Uh, looks really murky from the side. Looks all right from the top though. So um, yeah, uh, it's all ready now to get the rocks in and uh, get scaping, so let's do it. Right, so I've put the rocks in. It's a bit hard to see what they're gonna look like, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, showing a bulb tank sort of view. What I've done is I've tried to make sure I've positioned the, the big rocks so that I can get my gravel back around them. So there's a good bit of space either side. Obviously them three smaller rocks, I can just move out of the way when I gravel back in. But I think it looks pretty cool. I was a bit worried they were gonna to look too big and I'm still a little bit worried, but I think we need to fill it up, get the valley in and uh, have a look what it looks like then. So let's do that. Right, so it's all filled up. It's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, it's a little bit murky, but that'll, that'll clear up in time. Uh, so all that's left to do now is to add the valve, uh, the sponge filter, and obviously uh, mo. So uh, let's get that done. Right, so uh, I'm gonna put the valve in first, or into the aquarium co-op easy planter. Ooh. It just pops in, just so easily. This makes it so easy. Not sponsored. Uh, just a really great product. So uh, yeah, that's the Val in. Um, next, I think we'll get a little mowing because I want to give that sponge filter a bit of a squeeze out in that bucket first. So let's get mo. Come on, mo. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. There we go. Whoa. And he's in. Uh, right, so I'm going to give that sponge filter a little clean out and then I'll get that back in and we'll uh, check in when that's, when that's done. Right, there we go. So lid's back on. Sponge filter's in, mow's in. The valve's in. So hopefully the idea is that valve will send out some runners and uh, we'll have a nice sort of like semi-planted tank. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Really pleased with the uh, the easy planter, so that's pretty cool. So hopefully um, we'll be able to get aquarium co-op stuff in the UK in the not too distant future, because I would like some more of them for my pond outside, and I don't really want to pay a hundred quid for each one. So, but yeah, it's looking good, and uh, maybe I'll check in tomorrow if it's cleared up. But yeah, it's looking good. Mo looks happy. All's good. Nice. Right, so that just about brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's a nice simple setup for a goldfish, really. I think it looks pretty cool. Mo seems to quite like it. And them easy planters, they really are handy for like goldfish tanks. Because goldfish are notorious for like digging plants up. And that just completely stops it. It's so easy. You literally just drop drop the plant in into the, uh, the planter. Job done. And hopefully, like any runners, they're normally, like any runners that actually grow in the tank, they're normally quite good at like grabbing into the substrate and hopefully won't get dug up. But time will tell on that one. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on, I'll tell you what actually, before I go, I will just do a quick update on this tank. Uh, this is the planted tank we set up a few, um, a few videos ago. It's looking really nice. Everything's growing in really nicely, apart from this plant in the back corner. I can't remember what it's called, but I, I've been doing a bit of research on that. I think the uh, temperature in the tank may be a little bit cool for it. So I might try something else in that corner at some point. Rice fish all doing really well. Snails doing really well. The bristlenose pleco that we put in in the last video, the super red bristlenose, he's been doing well. Can't see him at the moment, but I'll just show you. I'll do a little close up for you. Be nice, be nice if he came out, but I uh, don't suppose he will whilst I've got the camera out. But he does come out, he sometimes goes in the uh, sponge filter actually. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck in there, he's pretty small still, so he should be alright for now. But yeah, it's looking good. That uh, tiger lotus is growing in an absolute tree. He hasn't sent any leaves to the surface yet, but it's grown loads of new leaves. There's a little nearite snail down there, little tinker. Oh, there's another one there. Uh, but, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here he is, here he is, he's coming out. There he is. Little bristle nose pleco. 
and I was thinking it would be quite cool if one of you guys would like to name him. So if you uh, drop some suggestions for a name for the little Brussel nose in the comments below, uh, that would be pretty cool. Also, it would mean I'd get a comment on my video, which is, which would be nice. Uh, so yeah, he's having a, he's settled in. I don't know whether he's male or female or anything yet, because uh, he's too young to be able to tell. But ah, oh, look at him. What a cool little guy. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.